Hello, my legion and little goblins. This is Gamer Dragon, and welcome to Let's Play Call of Cthulhu, a game based off of the uh, book, I assume, and probably the blindest Let's Play I have done yet. Oh, that looks lovely. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Hopefully the game will actually load this time. Oh, finally. So I think it goes without saying that because this is based off, based off the book Call of Cthulhu, but, there might be racism in this, you guys. I hope not, but let's find out. Game has good reviews, at least. So, well then. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who is who in his callousness can remain sane into the hideous end. <laughs> oh, that... That's something I would love waking up to! I really hope this is all the guts and gore of um of animal of a sea animal. It would be very problematic if it was human remains. Ugh. Okay, I don't think this is some. Yes. Oh wow, the camera sensitivity is still crazy. Damn, this camera sensitivity. Okay, now I've now I overdid it. I'm sorry, you guys. I thought this was, um... Alright, now it's starting to look less- feel less like a spastic. After darkness, you must light up some of items in order to interact with them. messaging me. Okay, I'm sorry. I will just go. This way. 
do I get this way? Um, yeah, anyway, uh, hi, hi, uh, hi, Gamer Dragon, uh, uh, and I, uh, I play video games for a living. Oh, this is Excuse me? Don't fight. You have been chosen. If this is running, behold. Everything has already been written. My private detective agency contracted to the Wentworth Detective Agency. At the Great War, I decided to set up in Boston where there was is no lack of work for guys like me. One small time case follows the other. Adultery, settled scores, disappearances that are not actually disappearances. The old office couch is less comfortable than a real bed, and I should probably get rid of these empty bottles. But this place is mine. A moment. I wonder why I still take these things. The doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they would put an end to the nightmares, but for a while now their effect has been wearing off. All right, I have to wonder. Yeah, stick with this fucking thing on. I wonder, is certain things going to affect the ending? Is this? Been a while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. See, the doctor can well repeat to me that I know. No longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient deaths. What nameless creature is calling me? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, don't drink. That seems like a bad idea. I'm listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. Doi! I'm Lucy Sherrifield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Oh joy, um, allocate your character points. Each character point allows you to prove the score that of a skill. 
I assume this would be an important thing to know given the game I'm playing. Eloquence. Probably good to take that. Uh, a little bit of that. Ecology. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing! Um... You know, let's just make sure everything's up to two right now. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. And, on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? Why not? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... Nope. I'm coming. <clears throat> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Dude, really? You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Don't care. Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Uh... Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Notebook details current objective... Pa picture painted by Sarah Hawkins a short while before her tragic death was sent to her father just after the artist died. He's convinced that she is the sender. He brought me the painting so I could examine it. Damon Webster, the wild Ulthi Industrials, came to my office. He wants me to reopen in the Sarah Hawkins case, named after his daughter who died in a fire alongside her entire family. Let's examine the documents he compiled in order to know more about the case. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. 
Rather thin. Shipping label. Some of it's unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Routes 36, dark water, the police report. It says the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. Police decide on a domestic accident, but that they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? Press cutting. An article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life with their only son, Simon. An island called Darkwater! Oh, gee! I can't imagine why someone goes crazy and dead and starts a fucking house fire! Who would want to live in a place called Darkwater? Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these... elements? Something's not right with the story. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. Out! Rat! Dark water. Never Stop heard it. of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. Ow! Stop it! You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Darkwater. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Dark water is off the coast of Boston, but I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century, but it seems to have been shunned since then. 
Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories lost, left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature who still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows. But today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land and off the coasts of Massachusetts. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Seems like those would be some things to really think about. I used to be an avid reader. Oh, maybe you should start up again. The Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders. That isn't courage. <laughs> Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. The husband never understood what that his le wife left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. Medicine Volume 1, a dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. This first volume lists all illnesses known in the civilized world. Details the symptoms and suitable treatment. I use suitable the suitable treatment lightly. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. <sighs> Is that everything? Wow, ceiling fan. This is time to go. Here's took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her, her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label and address. A warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. Place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. How long is this game gonna be, I wonder? Well, we found a boat, I guess! I'm really looking forward to it. Oh, that bodes well for me. I'm sorry, there's supposed to be police in this rinky dink ass little town? Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload.
Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzwater. I feel so, so welcome. What wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. Let's see. I see a group of angry people over there. I see a group of people over there. Which tells me quite a, quite a bit that one, I am not the most welcomed here. And two, this might get really ugly really quick. Might. Let's see, a uh, lighthouse that doesn't seem to be doing very well. Wonder when I'll go there at some point. There's something not quite right about this. Like, that lantern looks sketch as fuck. What's going on over here? Let the police do their work. Hey, Sullivan. Can't you go any faster? How old is this thing? If we force it too much, we'll break everything. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know, or you'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh yeah? He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed him. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh yeah? He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Yeah, obviously! He's back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They I'm with the fisherman on this. Dude, you should really not put that thing back in the can't water. Understand? Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. When a fisherman says, don't put that in, ba in the water, maybe a good fucking idea to listen to them. Okay. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine.
Thanks. Hey, be careful. Essentially, don't be rude. Trouble, right there. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. You saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. Oh, you're a true mainlander. A real princess. Wow, you fuck you, too. around with your la -dee da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak, then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Obviously. The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland, for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured? Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Anyway, it's not speaking ill, but it's true. Her vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Hardly. I've got what I need. Anything else? Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36? Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from and? around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. I'd be disturbed if there wasn't any sort of weird thing. things going on. Screams. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Um. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland. Then. I've got what I need. Anything else? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? I'm guessing that chick that would, was smoke that's smoking in the corner. Uh, I don't know. That'll be all for now. And I'm guessing she's the source of the whiskey. But I'm going to save it, end it here for now. Don't want to go too far today. I, um, I got other things to do. Like cook dinner for my ungrateful dogs.
Those dogs just don't know how good they have it. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and share this video with someone who might enjoy the series. I'm Gamer Dragon, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye!